my speech is about how schools give too much homework in schools and I'm going to persuade you that something needs to change. It's important for um, parents to know what their kids are doing in schools and for people that want to be teachers like me to realize that there's too much on kids' plates these days. So what I will go over is why they assign so much homework, how much is too much, the extracurricular activities that are important for children's development, and then the side effects of too much homework. For as long as there's been school, there's been homework. Um, however, homework has just recently been diagnosed or recognized as a large stressor, stressor for students. Um, so why do schools still feel the need to give homework? To a degree, homework is essential to the student's education. Um, teachers only have a short amount of time in the classroom with each student, so taking work home is necessary to be able to get teachers to get forth their lessons. In an article for educational psychologist Joyce Epstein introduced their 10 broad purposes of homework, also known as the 10 Ps. Um, first one is practice. Practice is obvious in things like math and stuff like that. Kids need to go home and they need to practice what they learn in class to make sure that they understand it. Second one is preparation. Teachers need to get children prepared for either the next lesson or the next grade or whatever is going to become in the children's future. If they don't know what they're doing in that class, they're not gonna know what they're doing in the next one. Participation. During class, some students may be shy or hesitant to participate because there's so many people. By assigning individual homework, teachers can assure that children are um, participating and participating in the active learning of school. Personal development. Homework is a way for teachers to help students to learn a sense of responsibility, time management, um, feelings of accomplishment when they get their homework done. Parent and children relations. Some homework can promote parents to be more active in their children's lives than they might not have been without the homework. Um, the parents can help the students understand how homework is related to all life situations. Um, Parent-teacher communications is when teachers may assign homework to help the families be aware of what their children are doing in the class and how to show that it is important that they support them academically. Peer interactions is when they, the homework is designed as group work to encourage the students to work together, learn from each other, motivate each other. And the last one is policy. Well, not the last one, but policy. Um, state education requirements have become a huge thing in schools now. Um, homework is sometimes just created to get the standards met and to get teachers to be able to follow the procedures. Public relations, sometimes in certain schools, homework is assigned to show parents in the community that the school has a rigid academic program and that they have high standards for their students. And now the last one is punishment. Um, although it's controversial, historically teachers have been shown to assign homework just for punishment to try to correct problems with students' conducts or the productivity in their classroom. It's important to know that all of these purposes aren't um, universal. They're not all mutually exclusive. Homework can be designed to fulfill, to fulfill one, many, or none of these purposes. Um, so looking at it this way, homework looks like a positive thing for children but there is, such, is there such a thing as too much homework? Many parents wonder how much, their homework, how much homework their children should be doing each night. The National Education Association recommendation for the amount of nightly homework follows the 10 minute rule, which states that it should be 10 minutes per homework per grade per night. So first graders get 10 minutes of homework, second graders 20, and so on, so it maps out in 120 minutes in 12th grade. Um, the National Education Association recommends that kindergartners be given no homework because they are so young and they are still developing. In a recent study by the American Journal of Family Therapy, it discovered that kindergartners are actually be given 25 minutes of homework a night. And almost the same amount that's recommended for third graders. So between kindergarten and first graders, they're getting three times the amount of recommended homework a night. Having this amount of homework this early in schooling career could potentially harm the student's cognitive development by not promoting things such as extracurricular activities. Hmm. 
Um, if given the time to participate in extracurricular activities, they have many positive effects on students, um, such as students have higher GPAs, they're more likely to attend and get scholarships for college if they participate. Um, they, extracurriculars improve time management skills, self-confidence, teamwork, and physical health if they're things such as sports. The American Academy of Pediatrics issued a report a few years ago stating that the amount of play and recess in a child's life needs to be increased in order to ensure prosperity of their mental and physical health. This means that for young children, they need to be able to play and express themselves in other ways than doing schoolwork. Education has become more or less mind-numbing test prep. All teachers are worried about their students passing state legislated tests. Um, in an article about cognitive development, William Crane states that young children have very few opportunities to think creatively and independently in the classroom. In that same article, he introduced de developmental psychologist Jean Piaget, who believed that the driving force behind intellectual development is the children's interest and curiosity. Kane also stated that homework can become so tedious that it forces kids to not be interested in what they're getting taught anymore because it just feels like they're being pressured to learn and they don't want to. For example, many parents in my research found that their children no longer like to read for fun because they've been forced to read so much in schools they don't like it anymore. The results of a Stanford University survey in 2014 of almost 4,500 students from 10 high schools in California indicated too much homework is associated with having less time for friends, family, and desired extracurricular activities. Um, they stated that they felt they were obligated or forced to choose their homework instead of developing other talents, skills, and personal relationships. If students are feeling so stressed and so much anxiety over having to choose between homework and extracurricular, there's a huge problem with how much homework is being assigned. In that same study of the 10 high schools in California, 56% of those students surveyed said homework was their primary source of stress. Less than 1% of them say, said that homework was not a stressor at all. And a 2014 study revealed that the impact of stress the impact of excess amounts of homework in high schoolers included physical problems such as migraines, ulcers, sleep deprivation, and weight loss. It also showed that too much homework affects students' attitudes about school. As stated before, they don't want to learn because they, they're being forced. It affects their self-confidence, social skills, and quality of life. According to an article by J.R. Chima, girls tend to have higher anxiety rates than males do when it comes to school, and they're also more susceptible for serious conditions such as chronic depression. Um, as earlier stated, parents play a huge role in the academic success of their children. So not only does homework stress the children out, but it also stresses the parent out. As children's homework becomes more in-depth and more difficult, parents are becoming less and less apt to be able to help their children, and it stresses them out, and it makes them feel like they aren't able to um, help their children or nurture them, and it really plays a whole stress role on the family. So they need to find a happy medium between being too involved or not involved enough. So what is the happy medium? We have looked at the reasons why homework is given, as well as the effects of social, mentally, physically, and cognitively of homework. Um, but what can be done to help to reduce the amount of homework and stress that comes with it? Teachers are the ones that have the most power when it comes to homework, but it needs to be a compromise and teamwork between teachers, students, and parents. Teachers and parents need to establish grounds of open communication. Many parents feel like the teacher-parent relationship is a one way where teachers demand too much and they're not giving enough feedback or providing any sort of compromise. Students need to play their part as well by taking, or by getting work completed when the time is given to get it completed and not paring it off. That will reduce the stress on them. Any homework assigned should have a purpose. It should benefit the student. The benefits should clearly communicate it to the student so the student's not feeling as if they're just doing busy work. Um, it should de be designed to progress learning and development, and if those assignments do not have a purpose, they should not be assigned. Teachers need to reduce the amount of busy work given, as stated. Um, some studies show that teachers give homework as a way to let students acquire more points for the class so their average gets up. But instead of assigning required homework, they should assign 
bonus points, you know, bonus, something that the children can go out and do that gets them active or creative thinking that is not required, but can help the children out. They also need to be aware of how much time their students are spending on their assignments. Assignment may seem minimal in the teacher's eyes, but when taken home to do, students spend a lot of time on it. And lastly, teachers can turn homework assignments into class assignments and have time set aside in the classroom for students to do their homework. By implementing all or just a few of these changes, the amount of homework and amount of stress related will decrease in students while their mental, mental and physical health will increase.